Hello and welcome. I am the Frog Wizard, and today we're going to talk about C++. It's really cool and definitely doesn't make me want to cry when I have to look at this and this. And my computer decides to explode because it's being force fed my awful unoptimized code. C++ was created by Bjarn Strustrup in 1979. And in the process, he also unintentionally created the Human Ethics Committee. It is basically an extension of C, adding object-oriented programming into the mix. To some, this was a mistake, but to others, this was a mistake. C++ is so fast, it rivals a Mr. Andy Green's land speed record. The barrier to entry for C++ is about as high as it gets, but for a good reason. The level of control you get is jaw-dropping, and once you understand it, you'll never want to go back. You'll make other developers look like they're just playing with toys. Aw, Terrence, you built a command line tool with Python, how cute. Now let me show you how a real band makes the most optimized command line tool this world has ever seen with the purest C++ code. Witness my greatness. But what is there to get, Yaz? Well, let me tell you about memory management. While C++ has plenty of important features, this is the one you have to understand, and it's absolutely awful. Other modern languages like Rust and Zig have made memory management less of a nightmare, and I'll talk about those in the future, but let me tell you what. If you do manage to master it, you will feel like an absolute god. Understanding memory management in C++ is the most powerful a human being can get. Now let me give you a little taste of this power. Look at all of that glorious memory management. We've got ourselves a pointer here, and we're freeing memory here. It's a thing of beauty. Something that would make a grown man cry. Because remember, programming isn't about making a livable wage or getting a job. It's about being a chad. Please, God, someone hire me. Oh, I'll program for food. Please, 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 please. <laughs> but if we're lazy and don't manage our memory properly, or worse, we try to access memory we're not supposed to, the guardian of the OS will show up. The Segmentation Fault Man. C++ is without a doubt the buff chad programming language. It's the industry standard for a ton of application, from embedded systems to video game development, and by a wide margin. Other languages and tools are catching up, but I highly doubt anything will dethrone C++ anytime soon. I really like C++. It doesn't let you get away with dumb mistakes. I wouldn't recommend it as someone's first programming language, but it's been around for so long that there's an insane amount of learning material for just about everything. There is a lot to love about C++, and there's also a lot to hate. Memory management, dumb. Header files, dumb. Templates, don't even get me started. But despite all that, I still say give C++ a shot. And if you're looking for some inspiration, check out these amazing channels that keep me coming back to C++. JDH and The Cherno. Incredible people, incredible content. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more programming nonsense. Till next time, keep coding and may the segmentation fault man stay far, far away.